And if at times our efforts and works seem to fail and not produce fruit, we need to remember that we are followers of Jesus Christ and his life, humanly speaking, ended in failure, the failure of the cross. Shalom. First things first, we want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Baraka to Yahweh, Baraka to Yahweh Shai. And uh, as you've seen in the beginning of this video, this is madness, man. You see the blasphemy that this this character has just said. So uh, what I'm going to do in this sit down, I'm just going to go through some scripts and show you that what he said was wrong, man. There was no failure about it. It was it was a great event. And it and it is just wild that these people are following this madness, man. OK, if you can't see we're living in the, the end days and in the last times, then you're not meant to see it. OK. Because he said what Yahweh Shah did was a failure on the cross, which is which is totally it is madness, man. OK, so we're going to go through these scripts and I'm just going to go through them. And Lord willing, you brothers are edified, man. That's why we give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that feed us with knowledge the right way, man. And that's how you know the Most High set these men up to teach us the right way and not go after the ways of this world man it's a it's a beautiful thing that we've been woken up to this knowledge and this truth all right so let me get into these scripts first script i'm gonna go to is the book of john 10 and verse 18 or actually let's get matthews this is the book of matthews 26 and verse 53 This is Matthew 26 and verse 53. And it says, we'll start at verse 52. Then said Yahweh Shai unto them, put up again thy sword into his place. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Thinkest thou that I cannot pray to my father and he shall presently give me more than 20 legions of angels? But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled that thus it might thus it must be because this was written. This was uh, set up by Yahweh for his son to go on that cross. It was in the failure. It was a success, man. OK, it was a success. That's why these things that that what happened was meant to happen. That's why even Yahweh Shai asked to take the cup away from. Him. All right. This is the book of John. 10 in verse 18 and it says we'll start at 17 and it says therefore does my father love me because I lay down my life that I might take it up again so that shows the father's love for Yahweh Shai for allowing him to get to forgiving him the strength in the in the in the faith to to go and and drink that cup man to make to lay his life down and to and to fulfill the prophecies that was written and it says no man taketh from me but i lay it down of myself i have power to lay it down and i have power to take it again this commandment have i received of my father so he had the opportunity to falter and, 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 and get off that cross. He had spiritual power, man. He had abilities that wasn't even written down in books, man. That if it, if it was written down, it'd fill up the whole earth. So he had the ability to come up off that cross, but he, he, fulfilled, the pro he fulfilled what his father wanted him to do. That's why a lot of these guys out here, they, they, can't, they, can't, they can't go against, they can't go into that cup, man. Cause they can't even keep the name. They won't even keep the 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 truth that's coming out. They want to negate it. But I'm just gonna get into these scripts and read them. This is the book of John 17. We'll start at verse one. This is John 17 and one. 
These words spake Yahweh Shai and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. As thou has given him, as, as Salaki, as thou has given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou has given him. And this life, it says, and this, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true power in Yahweh Mashiach, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. So how are you going to call the work that Yah that Yahweh gave unto his son, Yahweh Shai, as a failure, man? I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. And he gained that, man. When he when he went up to the Father, he's sitting on the right hand of the Father, man. And this is the book of John, too. This is all cuts for that 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 reprobate, man. That de that demon, man. This is John 2 and verse 19. And it says, Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will rise it up. I will raise it up. See that? That was the he was speaking, just like it was the the uh, even in the commandment, even in the law, in the Torah, it speaks of Yahweh Shai. Okay, and he told them, destroy this temple, and I shall rise it in three days to fulfill that, man. It was just the fulfillment of the prophecies to come to pass. Let's keep going. This is John 5 and 26. And it says, For as the Father have life in himself, so like it, for as the Father have life in himself, so has he given to the Son to have life in himself. And have given him authority to execute judgment also because he is the son of man. Marvel not at this for the hour is come in which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. I can of my own self do nothing as I hear I judge and that. And my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of the father which has sent me. See, he did the will of Yahweh, man. He did the will of Yahweh to fulfill the, the, the work that he was given. This is the book of uh, Philippians. If it don't make you mad, it is just a different type of mad, man. It's the book of Philippians 2 and verse 8. And it says, And being found and fashioned as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, Yahweh also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. So how is that a failure? You see, the Lord blessed Yahweh Shah for the things that thing that he did was when he went on that cross. And that's why he said it is done. It is finished. And the name of Yahweh Shah, every knee should bow of of things in heaven and things in earth and the things under the earth. Let me get the quick precept. One of my one of my favorite verses, man. Every time I read this, it warms my heart, man. This is the book of Revelation. This is the book of Revelations 5 and verse 2. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and read the book neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and in the four, and end of the four beasts, 
and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain. And when was that? When was he slain? When he went upon that cross, man. A lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of Yahweh sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts of the, and the four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vows full of the odors, which are the prayers of the saints. Now I'm going to jump and show you this. This this was all already prophesied to happen. The words, the things that he had said, the, the madness that came out of this so-called Pope's mouth, man. This is the book of Revelation 16 and verse 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs coming out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are spirits of devils working miracles which go forth into the king, unto the kings of the earth and to the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of the, uh, of the most high almighty of the power almighty. And then let me get this in Matthew's. Cause this, that's a false prophet, man. A false, unclean prophet, a a a, a defiled prophet, man. This is the book of uh, Matthew's. It's the last verse. This is the book of Matthew seven and and fifteen. And it says, "Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing." But inward they are raven, ra, uh, ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes and thorns or figs and thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And you can, the words out of his mouth was wicked and evil, man. Okay? So we living in those times. With that, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. Keep faith. Shalom.